Hey everybody, now it's time to show you my favorite way to make high quality print and play cards. I like that they shuffle well, they have a nice realistic feel, and they don't take too long to build. First, let's take a look at the supplies we need. I print on 110 pound weight cardstock. It's a bit heavier than normal cardstock, so you may have to find it online or at a specialty shop. And here's another brand and color option that I like. See the description below for all the tools and supplies mentioned in this video. The laminate I apply to the cards is cold laminate, which is basically a big clear sticker. I've tried a couple of brands, and these Fellows self-adhesive sheets are my favorite. I like that the finished cards don't get sticky or tacky. The bonus is you don't need a laminator for this build. To cut out the cards, you can use quality scissors like these but I prefer a paper cutter to make straight and consistent cuts. I love this Doll 550 trimmer. It's durable, precise, and cuts through cards very easily. Lastly, you need a corner cutter to round the corners of the finished cards, just like real playing cards. Once you've printed out your double-sided cards on the cardstock, you're ready to go. I'm using Wonder Tales from Button Chai Games as my example. Next, we will look at the steps to build the cards. Step one is to apply the laminate to both sides of the card sheet. Remove the backing from the laminate and lay it flat with the sticky side up. Then carefully apply your card sheet to the laminate. I like to gently push the center of the sheet down to the sticky laminate first, then push down to the edges to prevent bubbles. Now cut off the excess around the outside of the sheet while being careful not to remove the guidelines for the card cuts. You really only want to cut a tiny bit of the card sheet off so nothing sticky remains on the outside. Now we apply the laminate to the other side of the cards using the same techniques we just described. This time when trimming the excess off the outside, you can cut enough of the card sheet off so that the guidelines for the card cuts go all the way to the edge of the sheet. If you find that the card faces seem a little cloudy, just take a rag or your sleeve and press down on the laminate on both sides to get a more solid stick to the card sheets. Now we can cut out the cards using the guidelines on the outside of the card sheet. I make all the cuts on the long side first, then move to the short side. To cut out the short side, I use the first cutoff piece from the top of the long side cut and I line it up with the cards and use its guidelines to finish out the short side cuts. Here I'm simply pressing them together with my hands, but some simple gift wrap tape is a good tool to keep them together. Our third and final step is to cut the corners to make them look like real playing cards. I like this corner cutter, but these cards are pretty thick at this point, so I have to apply quite a bit of pressure to get the corner cutter to cut through the cards. Once you're finished cutting the corners, that's it. Have fun with your new game. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in print and plays, game design prototyping, or blinging out your games, please like and subscribe and visit my channel for more videos.